Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about one little interesting concept that I think still like shows such a high level of why often the game is very mis misunderstood and approached in a very illogical sense. For this, we're going to look at the Canadian Elite Basketball League. This is their, their professional basketball league, and it has a very interesting rule set. So for the rule set, we can see down here in the corner, it says target 96. So what this means is once it gets to like essentially the last couple of minutes, I don't know exactly what it is, but they just certainly, they just add a, an amount of score to whichever team is ahead. And once one team reaches that, that's when the game is over instead of having a shot clock or a timer. And so what this does is it kind of changes our perspective a little bit as to how scoring occurs. And I don't think it should necessarily, but it definitely does because now we see a point amount instead of simply being ahead of where the other person is. And so I think it's a very interesting concept. I'm not sure I'm for or against it, but it's a very interesting concept for sure. But I think it shows that one team approaches super logically. All right, so here's the first example. So we're looking at the team in white in particular right now. So if we look at the target score 96 and their score is 92, they need four points. Okay? What are the ways to combine shots to get four points? There's one way. It's two twos. Okay? You can shoot a three, sure, but if you get a three and a two, that gives you five points. Okay, You don't need five points. You only need four points. So shooting this shot right here makes absolutely zero sense because all you're doing is you're trading essentially efficiency. This is a higher efficient shot. It's less points. It's less efficient in like traditional basketball but it's more efficient in this format because all you need is two points. You do not need three points. Okay, so he shoots a three there. Okay, I think that's a mistake. And then this rebound right here, you are in a rebound with a great position and he doesn't go up with that ball. Okay, what he should 100% do is shoot that ball when he's underneath the rim if he's their post player whatsoever and not worried about getting a shot blocked. Instead, he shoots it out here and this dude shoots a sidestep backwards three. Very difficult degree of difficulty, and you get no reward for it. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This shot is essentially telling the whole world that we don't understand the logic of the situation, and we're going to make it more difficult on ourselves to win this game. Okay, so he hits the shot. Great. It's exciting. 95-95. So now, if we're the team in black, I don't even know what their team is, Niagara or something. If you're the team in bl black or blue, what is your goal? Okay, you need to get to 96. You currently have 95. What are you doing on offense right now? What kind of shots are you taking? In reality, on offense right now, the only shot I'm shooting is mid-range and in. And I'm not even looking at a three-pointer. And so if you're the defense, you have to be thinking in the same format. Okay? What are these two players doing right now? They're guarding. I'm sure they're good shooters all the way on the other side of half court makes absolutely zero sense again. They should be sprinting back and they should all be clogging the paint. Yeah, you can close out late to shooters if you need to, but it doesn't make any sense to be guarding them all the way over here because you're giving somebody space to work with. Okay? So the team in black, if I was their philosophy, I would be like, yeah, if you're going to guard us on the three-point line, that's fine. I'm going to put the ball in somebody's hands that can drive it a little bit and shoot mid-range shots, and I'm going to let them play one-on-one, 100%, -on -one, not even question it. Okay? Look at this. This is absolutely insane. Like, this oh, drives me absolutely crazy, is you have the ball over here. Every other player on defense literally make contact, literally arm's length away. Over here, you can't even see them in the picture. They, they are so worried about this three-point shot, which doesn't matter, literally doesn't matter, and that they're giving no one in the paint to provide help whatsoever. Okay? So if you're going to take this opportunity, drive. Why not? 100%. Okay? So they react late as the drive is occurring. However, you already gave them two steps to get downhill to have that space to work with, which you shouldn't have given them that in the first place. And then they'll hold their heads. Yeah, this three-point shot, that is open right here doesn't help anything. Okay? This is a fundamental misunderstanding of the game of basketball that I think we still see very, very commonly 
and frankly at a very high level as well. If I have any Vancouver fans that watch this video, I apologize. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out another video right here talking about the efficiency of the Boston Celtics and why they were so efficient in particular. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, subscribe, and most importantly, have a blast.